In fall 2007, graduate students from the University of Notre Dame School of Architecture presented designs for an addition and renovation for Washington, D.C.'s Carnegie Library. The Carnegie Building, one of more than 1,500 in the U.S. that Steel Baron Andrew Carnegie built, was home to Washington's Central Library from 1903 to 1972 when the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Library opened. Today, the King Building is crumbling, and some propose returning the library to its historic home, but the idea involves challenges for the building and its surrounding Mount Vernon Square neighborhood. Doing a project like this is like dropping a pebble in a pond and watching the ripple effects sort of propagate outwards. And so for all the students, to a greater or lesser extent, they were interested in not only adding on wings to the Carnegie and seeing what happens compositionally to that exercise, but also understanding how that fundamentally transforms, transforms the space of Mount Vernon Square and how one can compensate for the things that are lost and what things are gained in that exercise. All of that negotiation, negotiation with history, negotiation with a venerable old building, negotiation with your neighborhood and your neighbors, um, is a theme and a word that my students have heard all semester. The Historical Society of Washington, D.C., which restored the Carnegie Building, has a 99-year lease. It opened a city museum in the space, but it never attracted enough visitors to be viable. City officials are now looking at the feasibility of returning the library to Mount Vernon Square. Uh, we're getting ready to study this part of the city as a major destination and having this piece of work, this body of work, available to the community to stimulate a conversation about this particular building which is so important to uh, the function of this part of the city as a destination is really great. While the King Building is 400,000 square feet, the Carnegie Building is only 78,000. Notre Dame Architecture proposes an addition that could overcome daunting historical preservation and environmental obstacles. The Carnegie Library is listed in the National Register of Historic Places, and some of its 60 trees enjoy special protection. The graduate student's goal was to develop plans that satisfy both economic and preservation needs while restoring the Carnegie Building to its original grandeur. Their designs met modern requirements for a top research and learning facility, substantially increasing the size of the building while honoring its historic status. The students also addressed wider urban issues in the neighborhoods adjacent to the building. Our, our most beloved buildings um, often have several lives. Uh, but they, uh, they, they serve one function or another. And while this building currently has a terrific use as an uh, institution for music and music appreciation, uh, you know, at one time it was the Carnegie Library, it was a city museum, and it's certainly possible that at some point in the future it could be some other wonderful thing, perhaps a library again. Taking a look at what kind of needs that, uh, that, that new modern uh, flagship library might have in, in Washington and how this beautiful existing building might be able to be reimagined and uh, and added on to sensitively I think is a, is, a, is a great thing for the city and a great thing for the students to really sink their teeth into.